Well, greetings YouTube, this is Cool Dude Clem once again. And today I'm going to do an experiment to end the debate about which sounds better. Integrated circuits, transistors, or tubes. I'm going to be testing three of the amplifiers I have. One of them having an integrated circuit amplifier, the other having a transistor amplifier, and the final one having a um, valve or tube amplifier. So we will get to see which one sounds best. So let's bring on our three contestants. On the far left, part of a computer surround sound system from around 1998. And it has a chip amplifier. Next along, a Sharp RD707 tape recorder from around 1967. And it has a transistor amplifier. It proudly boasts that on one of the speakers. Further along, Last amplifier that we will test, the Pedo Scott from about 1960, which has a valve amplifier, or tube amplifier if you live in the States. And finally, the audio source, the Akai 4000 DS Mark II reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder. And for those of you wondering what this is being recorded on, well, is this a VCR here from probably this century? And I found this in the trash, and I took it home, and it works absolutely perfectly. I haven't had to do anything to this VCR at all. And this is the VCR that is recording this. And just to prove it, I will unplug one of the things here. There you saw the sound, I mean the picture just suddenly disappeared when I unplugged the thing. But anyway, let's get on with the thing. All three amplifiers are going to be playing through this speaker right here because some of you, if I played them, had them playing through their own speakers, you're going to say, Oh, it sounds better because it's playing through that speaker. It's going to be a different speaker. But this is going to eliminate that variable because that is the only speaker that is going to be used in this experiment. So, first up, I have the chip amplifier connected. You may notice that I have connected this via an attenuator because there is no volume control on this and I don't want it to blow the speaker although this thing probably won't anyway but I don't want it to be too loud because I don't want to annoy the neighbours. This does have a bass control right here. You may be able to hear it hum as I turn the bass level up even though it's upside down. So, the bass, turn the bass all the way down so no sound will come out of this speaker. So the only sound we're going to get is through this speaker here, like I said before. So, start the tape recorder and hear how it sounds. sound coming out of this speaker here. Okay, let's test the next contender, the Sharp RD707. The Sharp is now connected so let's hear how it sounds through this speaker. Using the same audio source to eliminate all variables here. And I've started the tape, and for some reason we're not getting any sound. Um, mm. Just a bit of a dodgy connection, that's all. That. Just to prove that this is what's doing it. And now, time for the final contender. 
the petoscot. The petoscot is connected up. So let's hear how this final amplifier in this video sounds. Just to prove that this one is doing the amplifying this time. Well, I don't know about you, but in my honest opinion, this one comes in third place, this comes in second place, I don't know why the speaker looks so bad on that, it doesn't look bad, it only looks bad on the camera, but anyway. But the winner has to be this, because it just has the best sound out of all three. And you know why? Because it has a tube or valve amplifier. And that's the end of this video, so until next time, goodbye. Okay, now I'm going to do the video for the um, tape recorders. And of course, give the tape time to... On the far left... Um, something. Oh, it's got a little bit of a thing on there, right? Actually... I think that's here somewhere. I'll just get this queued up ready. Something just fell off it, but never mind. I think it's because I put something on top of the reel, but... I think you will know what this sign says.